Welcome to Compute 175 Python Review. What we will see today is decision-making and branching in Python. We call these decisions or conditionals. Basically, we will see what is known as if statements. If you have a condition to be true, then execute some instructions. We will briefly discuss conditions, then present the syntax of the if statement. Finally, we will present the else clause. So these are executed when a condition is not true. A program is basically a sequence of instructions. Often you want to execute some instructions only if a condition is verified. How do you tell a computer to do that? Well, that is what we call the if statement. You say if condition, then execute some instructions. Else, well, the condition is not true, then execute some other instructions. So we write it, if condition, then execute instructions, else execute other instructions. By the way, the else part is not always necessary. Not So you can have if condition, then do that, period. So let's see the syntax and how we do that in Python. We will illustrate the concept of control flow with if statements using a concrete example. Assume you are writing a program to print a receipt for customers in a store. You have a policy by which you would give a 5% discount to customers that purchase for a value higher or equal to $300 and nothing to others. So let's say we have a variable subtotal that sums all the purchases and let's say the subtotal of the current customer is $80 so we have subtotal equal 80 let's see if subtotal is greater than 300 we type subtotal is it greater than 300 and we get false so Python tells us the condition subtotal greater than 300 is false if we type subtotal smaller than 300 we get true now if we want to check whether subtotal is equal to 300 what happens if we type subtotal equals 300 well this is a typical mistake people do this is not a test of equality but an assignment I'm trying to assign 300 to subtotal and reassigning because subtotal already has 80 so actually the operator for equality is equal equal if I type subtotal equal equal 300 I'm actually asking is subtotal equal to 300 and I get indeed false so to check whether they are different how do I type is 300 different than uh, than subtotal so I have subtotal different is exclamation point equal 300 and we'll say of course true they are different okay so how do we use these conditions in our programs with the if statements in Python the syntax is as follows if condition column new line and add an indentation and then the statement or statements to be executed only when the condition is true for example let's say we have discount equals zero don't have a discount we will calculate the discount we'll say if the subtotal is greater or equal to three hundred dollars then I have my discount equals to the subtotal multiplied by five percent okay we execute that now what is my discount my discount is zero Indeed, I have a subtotal which is less than 300. If we reassign to subtotal, let's say we give it $400. My current customer now has $400. And I do the same. Okay, what is my discount? And this time it's $20. Okay. So how do I provide instructions to execute when the condition is true and other instructions when the condition is false? We use the else clause. So suppose we did not initialize the discount of zero, we would type, for example, if the 
subtotal is uh, greater or equal to 300, what do I do? I have my discount is equal to subtotal multiplied by 0 0.05. And then here I say else my discount is actually 0 in this case. If I check my what is my discount now, I'll find again twenty dollars. What we wrote here is a condition: if subtotal greater or equal to three hundred, this condition can be any expression that returns true or false. That means we can use negations with not, conjunctions with and, and disjunctions with or. For instance if subtotal is greater or equal to 100 and has membership. Both of them have to be true. Or if subtotal is greater than 300 or has membership. One of them suffices to be true. What we are describing here is what is known as control flow. Because we're controlling the flow of the execution based on these conditions, you may have many conditions, not just one. So if condition one, then execute these instructions. Else if condition 2, execute these instructions instead. Else if condition 3, execute these other instructions. And so on for as many conditions as you want. And finally, when all these express conditions are false, we say else these instructions. In Python, the else if is written elif, E-L-I-F, that stands for else if. Now, in addition to the 5% discount above the $300, we would like to give a discount of 2% for customers purchasing between $100 and $300. And again, nothing for the others. So let's say we have a subtotal equals to 150. We would write these and execute that. We'll see what is the discount. Well, the discount is three dollars. Why is that? Well, 150 is not above the 300. So I go to the else if clause. Is it above the 100? Yes, it is. So my discount is 150 multiplied by 2%. That's how we got three dollars. In this video, we talked about control flow with if statements. We talked about conditions, which are expressions returning true or false and so how we use in the Python syntax these conditions to execute instructions only for some cases and not others. We presented the if statement with the elif and else clauses, elif for a new condition when all previous conditions are false, and else for when all previous conditions are false.